you know, oh God, here I really thought I was gonna be able to use my um, good camera in here. Like I'm in my car, hello. Uh, first car vlog attempt and my dash is so small. This big DSLR literally does not fit on it. Like look at, look at, um, it, that's not enough space and plus I have this like phone holder thing in the way. Uh, so awkward. <laughs> well, um, so this is fun. So I guess I can just hold it as much as I don't want to do that. But hey, YouTube, what is up? It is Michaela. This is my first video of 2018 that I am filming right now. And I am currently in my hometown where I grew up. And I have not been here, oh God, <laughs> in, um, years? Uh, <laughs> literally years. So it's very weird. And I'm sitting in the parking lot of the elementary school that I went to because I grew up in a small town and there's nowhere that I could like just sit at that would be kind of secluded and not like a grocery store parking lot. I left my trendy friend's house, uh, Ashley, and um, I got to see her because she now lives in Rhode Island and she came home for like a week. So we uh, hung out yesterday and I stayed the night and then she's spending like um, a day with her mom. So I was like, all right, I'll just leave and you know, find something else to do. <laughs> Which I don't mind just like driving around by myself, but I'm like, I'm remembering now, like there's nothing to do here. <laughs> like there is, but you have to like drive to it. Like you have to drive like 15, 20 minutes out of the way. And it's really weird. I didn't know they were rebuilding the elementary school also. I'm like staring at it. Like the football field is gone. That's so weird to me. What I was originally gonna do was sit at the park up there. Um, to the right, you can't see um, all my steps in the way. There's one over there and there's one on the other side. And what I used to do in high school when I got my license and drove around was I would sit in the parking lot up there and just listen to music and hang out there and whatnot. But now everything's different and it's weird. There's construction everywhere and, oh, there's a car coming. So this is probably looking very odd. I'm in the drum line. okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is strictly just like, is this faculty parking right now that I'm sitting in? Probably. My one only other friend that I currently can think of at the moment that I have her phone number, um, it would be my little sis, Casey, who I just called and um, left her voicemail and she texted me and she's like, I'm in Columbus. I'm like, of course. <laughs> so, her home, blah, blah, blah. she's not home right now, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. My mom wants me to get some groceries while I'm here, but that I can't do that till before I leave. <laughs> I'm stuck with I don't know what to do. A lot of my friends don't live here anymore, or I don't know where they live, actually, some of them. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. It's just, it's turned into a little mini adventure um, by myself today. And I kind of want to do this more often, maybe do some car vlogs. Because for some reason, I just... You know, your car is like a really good place to just kind of vent, at least for me it is. Um, when I drive around by myself, I like yell a lot, listen to music, you know, it's just, it's like therapeutic, it's your own little space. So I was thinking about bringing back the car vlogs. Just a video I did very randomly one day was my car vlog, which was a rant about when I was buying tickets to the highlight tour. Oh my God, that was a, it's a good video. You should go check it out, it's right here. So I realized I did that whole thing with no lipstick on, which felt really weird. So I went to switch to my vlogging camera and the memory card was full. I was like, great. Nope, still, still insufficient space on my dashboard to freaking make this taller. Like almost could work, kinda. Awful angle, but because I'm not moving anywhere and I'm tired of holding the camera, I'm just gonna sit it there. I love driving around, honestly but I don't have the money to buy more gas. <laughs> so see, what happened was, it was winter, it still is winter, and here in Ohio, it um, is 50 some degrees today and everything melted and looks ugly. <laughs> so, of course, the only time when I'm down here and have like a camera, everything's ugly. Not to mention I'm wearing suede boots, so I don't wanna ruin them. <laughs> So, this is the first video I'm filming in 2018. I have like a generic GoPro, like a knockoff GoPro on Amazon for like 40 bucks. And I wanted to get for doing specifically these kind of videos, but I'm like, I already have a vlogging camera, so I can't justify buying another one. I wanted to make like a, like either my 17 songs of 2017, but that needs like planned out. Like I can't just do that on the fly right now. 
or a year in review or my you know like 2018 goals that kind of thing just kind of like want to sit here and talk about something uh pfft. Let's cut to that. Hey, welcome to my car. I have lots of Bob's Burgers merch everywhere. I have this lanyard I got from Spirit that I, when I worked there. That should have been in my Halloween haul. Damn it, I forgot. Oh well. A Tina, I can't see her, air freshener that is, everything is fine. Oh, this is why I'm such a bad YouTuber. I get so nervous about being in public and vlogging. Oh, I'm almost like half tempted to just like go to the mall that I used to go to growing up by myself just to see how different it is because it's literally been eons, eons since I've been there. I want to say high school since I've been there. That's like wasting gas. I know it is. So I'm like, eh, no point. Future videos that I want to do for 2018. Let's talk about those real quick. Quick go-to makeup look, which is what I'm wearing right now. Need to go get like two more colors of this. It's the colored Vivid Brights eyeliners. And this is like the green one, but it comes off like really teal when you actually apply it. But anyhow, I'm rambling about colors. <laughs> I'm gonna do more makeup related videos anyhow as it is. I've started to post more makeup looks that I enjoy on my own personal Instagram account. Like I'm not like a beauty guru, I'm not a professional or anything, but like I love doing it just for fun. So why not do that? Ah, I hate people. I wanna do more like beauty looks and hauls and vlogs. Um, this year I'm really hoping to actually like go to more things, do more things now that I have a car. So hopefully vlogging I can kind of incorporate into just not being awkward about and posting more of those kind of things. But actually like a, a handful of vlogs, they're not all music related, but well some of them are. I even have a really really old, just like four years strong, not really a vlog, but like concert footage that I just compiled together and was like posted it because why not. Love, love, love. Love my KCON vlogs. I also want to do more like artsy videos, like time lapses of like me doing something. Um, I started filming those actually throughout college, but I never got around to editing them because they just, the files were so big, they just took up so much space on my computer, so I deleted them. I want to, I want to, this year, making videos in general is something I really want to like incorporate into my life throughout this year and be like attentive to it and consistent with it. But also, I want to like make stuff, like <laughs> sell it. Um, I have a Redbubble account, but I only have a couple designs up. They're from my school projects, um, actually, and they're really, I love them so much. I bought them in stickers and I have them on everything. I'll put a link to that below if you're interested. It's a very like female power, girl power uh, based project that I made a design for. So I want to make stuff. I want to like screen print stuff. I want to do vinyl cutouts. I want to make shirt designs. I want more freelance projects. If you are watching this and if you want a logo, a business card, a graphic, a uh, watercolor, I don't know. If you want anything that you don't know how to make, ask me. Send me an email to my business email. Um, I'm trying to build my portfolio more, so I would love to do some um, freelance work more consistently uh do you do do i finally have my website so mamcreates.com that is me looks like i'm ready to go but i'm not going anywhere because if i even drove this thing this thing would just fly off this little dash <laughs> it's just other like goals that i'm just gonna like speak into existence I, first of all my family says that phrase but when i saw the ysg my girls your sweet guys made this video um about goals and kept saying like speak it into existence really loud which is hilarious so, like i really want to focus on trying to study like learn a language i really always wanted to learn sign language korean japanese i kind of know like just you know bits and pieces but like i really want to like buckle down and actually like learn it would be really cool like I really want to go to more concerts this year now that I have my friend Gabby who is a k-pop fan and lives only an hour from me travel together by ourselves to a concert specifically k-pop concert maybe k-con if it has a good lineup um, I also have to go to warp tour this year because it is the sad Ugh, sad last warp tour of the ever supposedly which i think is crazy like why couldn't you just wait till next year when it would be like a 25th anniversary i used to go to warp tour hardcore i always mention this but i always used to go to warp tour almost every year for the past eight years i don't know um but i've missed the last couple because i was not a fan of the lineup anymore because warp tour changed they became i don't even know they were like 
getting artists that just didn't fit the scene. The very first one I went to, and the second one were like the best ever. And after that, they just gradually like kept changing. And I'm like, what are you doing, Warp Tour? What are you doing? Why are you asking that artist to be on the tour? It makes no sense. So you know, whatever. But uh, so I have to go. I have to go to that. Um, I want to travel to Rhode Island to see my dearest friend, my dearest trendy friend. I want to send people stuff in the mail. Uh, whether they live in Ohio, whether they don't live in Ohio, they live in a different country. I want to send letters and make cards and postcards and like, like I'm back to the topic of making stuff. Um, I want to make stuff to send to people to show that I still am thinking about them because um, no one does that anymore. <laughs> you know, because everything's always like, I'll just text them, I'll snap them. like. I remember when I would sit there and I would text a friend every day, like continually all day after school, you would text each other. And I remember like if you had to go somewhere, or, like my mom was calling for me to eat dinner, I'd be like, BRB, gonna eat. Like, well, like you tell the person you're not gonna respond. You don't just not respond. And then, you know, people are like waiting on an answer and you're like, did they die? Like what happened? Do they hate me? <laughs> Um, I miss that part of uh, texting culture. Not culture, what's the word? Etiquette. Texting etiquette. Uh, I miss those OG days of texting etiquette when it was similar to IMing because that's kind of, you know, I think why we would do that. Nowadays, people, and I get it, like, I have a busy life, you have a busy life, we have jobs, we're adults, you know, I understand that, but like, it never hurts to always just like send a casual little, like, thinking of you, hope your day is well, like, just something to make people smile is really what I wanna do. It's, you know, just the thought being considerate um i could do a whole freaking video i've done it before i think and then i deleted the video because i was kind of not so nice but a whole video on consideration and how people lack of it anymore or common courtesy but you know um i'd like to bring those things back in 2018 let's see what else i'm gonna be more active because i have not been the past like two years since I've been out of school. Being in college really messed with my metabolism because of what I studied was just sitting on on a laptop. And the only exercise I got was walking from building to building and going up and down stairs. And, and walking from the train to my school building. So it's not like I wasn't active, maybe not enough for my body, like what it used to be in high school, like when I did sports. But I stopped doing sports halfway and I did marching band, which is still very, very athletic. Um, I was carrying a like 50, 60 pound snare drum on my shoulders for hours um, and walking and standing still. You can't move. I mean, it's a lot of muscle tension and, you know, you're building core strength that you don't realize. And also like when we had to do gym and we'd have to go to like the gym in gym class and like we kind of pretended to half-ass lift dumbbells but that actually kept my arms in shape. Eventually I'm going to start like going to a gym. For now I just do my like simple at home stuff to try and, and get my body used to like, like I sweat very easily. TMI I know but like that's just how my body is as a person. I sweat very easily and it sucks. A lot never like you know and I get very red faced and like breathing heavily and like not a pro workouter okay I know um <laughs> so I can't wait to just start doing that gradually little by little do 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 just making more stuff a lot of making stuff I want to get my life together <laughs> I want to get a st more steady income would be nice <laughs> Um, a cleaner room a, and a craft room would be amazingly helpful. Yeah, because I want to make is really like a big part. I want to make, I want to sell, work with people, collab. I want to keep continually, you know, doing this, um, but expand more. I've kind of gotten so sucked into K-pop, honestly. Like it kind of took over my life for a couple years. <laughs> oh my God, that's a big thing. I want to read a book. I don't know what to do now. Um, currently it's sprinkling and I'm supposed to be waiting for my mom to call me back with her grocery list because since none of my friends are available and I heard there's going to be heavy rain at by three, um, I don't want to drive home in that necessarily. I mean, I can, I've done it before. I've driven in an awful rainstorm like not too long ago. So I feel like I can handle anything. But I just, uh, I don't want to drive home at dark and it's raining that bad, which is what I did. Anything's better than sleet or snow, so that's why I couldn't stay till Friday, because supposedly that's going to happen. 
and so on and so forth. <laughs> I am talking so, so much, and I'm sure this construction guy who's been sitting in his car is wondering why the hell I'm talking to a camera. Other things I want to do in 2018, get tattoos. And I say tattoos multiple because I want more than one. I was talking to my friend Ashley about this last night because she already has four and I have zero and I had wanted one since I was 16 and I am 23. Look at that. My fear was like commitment and choosing something and not being happy with it. Then she was like, just get something simple first. Like don't get something so meaningful in case you don't like it. And I'm like, okay, but that can go for any time. <laughs> but I really want to do that. I need to, I want to cut my hair again. It's been forever. I need it trimmed badly because it's just really crusty at the bottom. And I think I want layers again. I miss having texture in my hair. My hair has gotten so long and it's so heavy it doesn't do anything. And maybe possibly dyeing it. I don't know. Not like with like heavy, heavily bleaching it. Or maybe we can and I don't care. I, I don't know. I really don't know. <sighs> and now it is raining. You're not playing. Come on. I love the song. You have to play it. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> There we go. This song is in my top like five, probably, faves of BTS, honestly. It's just so good. j -Up's rap part is the bomb! <laughs> I used to know it. Every time I hear the song, I just relive the Wings tour, and it's just the greatest feeling in the world. I love it. Stray Kids. Oh my god, Sri Racha? I don't know how you say it, like Sri Racha. It reminds me of Sriracha, but like why is it the number three? I don't know. So I just say Sri Racha in my head. I have no clue if I'm saying it right. But, oh my god, Matroshika is my shit. Ever since I freaking watched that, uh, what's it called, JYP versus YG, and like they did it live, Jisung, uh, now how you say his name? Chanbin and Jisung. Jisung's my boy. I love him. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name. I'm like a new fan. Okay, so first chill. But freaking, oh, I just love them. He reminds me so much, I'm sorry, of Mark from God 7. But he's just so talented. I love his the tonality in their rapping, the two of them, and Chan too. Mm -hmm. They're just so good. And the fact he like produces, they're all like self-produced talent um hello the kid when they performed this and he was like with the hat that's that's me <laughs> so good and it's so much more hype when you watch the live well i keep calling it the live but it's like them performing it versus yg but when they are performing it it's so much more hype and lit because they do like the fan chant things and chan's all like woo because he knows when to say woo because he's in the the, the unit <laughs> and produced it so. I'm still learning the words, so I'm sorry if I said them all wrong. I'm sure I did. And, uh, I love that. Vushka, Vushka. Anyways, okay, bye. I gotta go. <laughs>